look at these two sentences. The first sentence I have written is, I love myself. The second sentence I have written is, I show him myself. So in the two sentences, you find something common. That is the word myself, you can see. So naturally, the meaning of this word should be similar in both the sentences. But here, that words in the two sentences used in some different perspective. Confused? I promise that every confusion will be clear after the end of this session. So, stay tuned to the video till the end. Hello my dear students, welcome to English Classroom. And today, we have come up with a new topic of grammar that is reflexive and emphatic pronoun. So as you know, these pronouns reflexive and emphatic, they look similar to deceivers. But there is certain difference between the two. So let us know today what is the difference between the two. So, let's start with a famous proverb of William Shakespeare. What's there in a name? But here we will not go for this proverb. Because I always say, we have many things hidden or latent in a name. Okay. So, first we should look at the title. We should explore the title or the name to get to know more about it. Okay. It says many things. Okay, do not everything. So first look at the name reflexive. So you can consider here that the word reflexive may refer to reflection. As you know, uh, our images uh, reflected through the mirror, you can see. Okay, similarly here, reflection means something coming back to you, something that is coming back to you, like boomerang. Okay, so reflexive pronouns are kinds of pronouns where the action done by the subject is coming back to the subject again. Okay, so the action done by the subject coming back to the subject again. But in case of emphatic pronoun, the case is different. Now the word emphatic, what does this mean? Emphatic word came from the word emphasis or emphasize. So what is emphasis? Emphasis means to give some special importance to something, to give special stress to something, okay? To have, to give some importance or significance, emphasize, to emphasize or to lay emphasis. So here, sometimes we say something in a sentence to emphasize our remark. What we say, we try to put more importance on that remark. In this way, we can lay emphasis on that sentence. So let's understand the difference with some easy examples. Okay, you can see the examples over here. Again, I have written the same examples that I have given in the beginning of the video. I love myself. Here you can find myself as the pronoun. I saw him myself again found, found here myself. Okay. Now mark the difference. What I told you about reflexive pronoun and about emphatic pronoun. In case of reflexive pronoun, I told you that the action is reflected or action comes back to the subject again. You can see. So I love myself here. I is the subject. Okay. This is the subject. Love is the verb and myself is the object. Okay. So you can see. So action coming back to the subject again. So who loves whom? Here I love myself. So the person who is loving is I. The person who is loved is I. That's why it is called reflexive pronoun. Please remember it. It is very confusing. Okay. Secondly, you can find the second example. I saw him myself. Okay, in this sentence also we can find myself and here also the subject is I, that is subject. Okay, so here 
again verb is saw you can find and again you can find the pronoun myself so what is the difference here here you can see the myself word is actually not required because before myself we can find everything in the sentence like subject then saw is the verb then him is the object so why is myself required here tell me hmm? is there any direct relation of myself with the subject the answer is no okay so here the subject is i object is him i saw him okay the the case is finished here you can see manusko dekha i saw him but myself is used so why is the word myself used here for the sake of emphasis to lay importance to lay emphasis on the matter okay so when some people they do not try to believe us they do not trust us we have to lay emphasis on our comments on our remarks that yes i did it i saw him like this okay so it's kind of putting importance on the remark nothing else that's why there is the big difference between the two sentences in the first sentence it is only the reflection of the action towards the subject again in the second sentence it is not the reflection it is the way of emphasizing the remark of the speaker that's it so now i think your doubt is all clear now thank you stay tuned